Okay, let's bring in Eric Bowling. Now, you know Bowling. He's on Newsmax, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a signature show. He's used to sub for me on a factor. He's coming to us from Boca Raton, Florida, where he lives large. Spends a lot of the day going out and telling people, I'm Eric Bowling, and uh, what can I do for you? Um, so, my actually, analysis. Actually, I go, you know, I used to fill in for O'Reilly like 200 times. And they're going, and oh, that's that Eric Bowling, gotcha. And people still mention that to you, Bowling. I know they do, uh, because I do all the time. Um, so, my analysis CNN, fallacious, accurate. What say you? I, I think, uh, well, uh, CNN, they, Don Lamont, as you point out, Don, I think he's on the hot seat. I think what, what Malone did when, when Discovery merged with Time Warner, Malone, the big boss, came out and said, I don't like what they're doing over there. It's kind of BS. They're trying to out left the leftists. CNN was always, back in the day, Bill, when you were first to beat CNN, you were first to take CNN down in five years when no one thought Fox News was going to be able to do it. CNN was news for both sides. It was a fair and balanced, or truly a fair and balanced. Fox was never fair and balanced, let's be honest. But CNN was a fair and balanced network, and then they started to drift left and further left, and then MSNBC came, and then the, the, the broadcast networks. So they were all competing for the same pie. What happened was when Malone came in, he obviously they, they bounced Zucker, Zucker's guy was Brian Stelter, as you point out. Stelter was the mouthpiece for Zucker, so it was only a matter of time before he got gone. Uh, call him a Fredo. Fredo. Fredo was gone. Call was gone. Then, then the guy, Jeffrey Tubin, who likes to expose himself in front of others, he was gone. So Stelter is like the third or fourth uh, that are gone. I would say I think they're going to try and get back to their roots. I don't personally think there's a market for the roots. I think America is so But they, they can't, I think unless they, they wipe out to... everybody. Eric, unless they yeah. wipe out everybody, they can't get back to their roots because that's why I use the Bernstein soundbite. I mean, you can't be that wrong. You can't. And look. It doesn't matter. A guy there's like, no a guy like the road bill. There's no market to be that, uh, that's, news that's, for both sides. That's you, know another, who's not, you know who's not doing it? News Nation. They okay. tried to be that's another that's miserably. another discussion. It's another discussion whether so-called straight news uh, can attract an audience when they've already been ginned up by opinionated news. But a couple of things you, you mentioned Jeff Zucker. I didn't. So people who don't follow this, Jeff Zucker is the previous president of CNN who brought them into a hate Trump area and pretty much destroyed the network. And Stelter, as Bowling accurately points out, was his hatchet man. So Zucker was fired. Now uh, Stelter is fired. They don't have anyone to put in. A guy like Jake Tapper, for example, they give him two hours. People hate him. He's number three in a time slot, always has been. He's unpleasant. They won't watch him. And now he's been bantered around as doing the morning show. Literally, Good Morning Pittsburgh gets more viewers than CNN's morning show on a national basis. It's it's a catastrophe.